Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm a shepherdess from Essex. Here's a typical day in our life when we're in the middle of lambing. I start off the day by waking up in the caravan with these lovely two. They take up most of the bed and are incredibly lazy. Next, on to chopping fodder beet for the girls. They go absolutely mad for it. Great feed source, high in sugar, keeps them nice and milky. Next up, we put the hay out, and I promise you I do give them more than this. This was just a little top up for them whilst I did some other jobs. And here I'm avoiding being beaten up by this ewe who's a bit protective over her lambs. Gary's usually turned up by this point and he gives them their ewe rolls. And topping up their waters. And then I head home. Usually at some point in the day I get called away to help with some other jobs like tagging some calves. And a quick stop off back at the lambing shed to make sure this girl had her babies. Bit confused by what had just happened to her, but now she's got a nice set of twin boy lambs. Farming isn't my full-time job, hence why I'm here, there and everywhere at the moment. So back to the lambing barn for some dinner and it looks like we've got some more lambs that are gonna be on the way very soon. In the meantime, I pop to the cow shed to keep an eye on these girls who are now calving and just cast my eye over this new arrival from a distance because his mother is a little bit sharp. Get back and it's my favourite sheep, Myrtle, who is having her babies. Gave her a hand with the first one and the second one is coming nicely on its own. Then it's time to top up hay and water again and 10 o'clock is the witching hour when the lambs tend to go a little bit mad. One of the last jobs of the evening is making sure that everyone is fed, including the new babies that they've got and sucked. And of course, I just have to spend a little moment with my favorite man. Um, he's got fantastic side eye. <laughs> then back to bed and the alarm set for every two hours to get up and check and make sure nothing else is happening. This was a relatively quiet evening where nothing much else happened, which made a nice change to a couple of nights before where I got about two hours sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this little insight into our day and see you soon.